Hello and welcome to this MicroFocus ZenWorks configuration video demonstrating ZCM zone database migrations. This series of videos talks about database migrations and the different options. This video will demonstrate migrating from a ZCM 2017 with an external MS SQL database to an internal PostgreSQL database using the versatile DB migration tool. This same process can be done on Oracle. In this database migration video series, th the first one is details on the database migration options. Be sure to watch this one. It has all the details. The next one will be a demonstration using the DB migration tool demonstrating how to upgrade ZCM 2017 with an internal Sybase to an internal PostgreSQL. The next demonstration is using ZCM 2020 installer ISO to upgrade ZCM 2017 with an internal Sybase database to an internal PostgreSQL. And the final one in the series is a demonstration using the DB migration tool on a ZCM 2017 with an external MSSQL database to internal PostgreSQL. For our overview, first review the ZCM database migration option details presentation. This has details of the different options you have for the various migrations. Walk through upgrading ZCM 2017 zone with MSSQL migrating to PostgreSQL. And again, this same process can be performed if you have an external Oracle database. Then we'll cover utilities, commands, troubleshooting, and resources. Let's have a quick walkthrough on migrating our MSSQL database to PostgreSQL. And we'll do it from a, uh, let's say 2008 to PostgreSQL internal. So one thing you want to look for is ZenWorks 2020 documentation under the administration you'll see database administration. There's embedded, external, for maintenance, and then these three are the tool. So there's Sybase, MSSQL, and Oracle. And one tool does it all. So version three takes care of all three of these databases. And the process is very similar between the MSSQL and the Oracle. It takes you step-by-step step through the process. Version 3 is the latest one that's downloaded now, and you run a ZDC prior, so you have some type of a baseline. Then in case you want to go to embedded or external PostgreSQL, if you're doing a silent install, if you need to verify the database, reverting or troubleshooting, all of these are here so that you can get through a smooth transition of your database from one vendor to another. Another place to look would be going to the knowledge base and typing in cookbook under ZenWorks, and you'll get various ZenWorks cookbooks. There's 11, there's 2017, and there's 2020. So pick the one that you're currently on, and within that cookbook, you'll find direct links to the documentation for various areas. In our instance, we're doing a database migration so we'd look under the database, uh, but we'll have plenty of um, links here for the documentation. There's also ZDCs, if you run a ZDC for any of the upgrades, they're here, and other details that you might need to know. The last thing is, is getting the tool. So we'd wanna go in, into our customer portal. We'll go to our ZenWorks suite, which is what we purchased it may just be ZenWorks Configuration Management, but go into the downloads for that product. And then if you look at the bottom of that list, you'll see the DB Migration Tool, and this is version three. So we've downloaded that. Let's go on over and sign into our zone. You can see this is a 17 zone. You could use it on a 2020 zone as well. All right, so if we look at our ZenWorks Configuration, we will see that we have an IP address of 36, DigiZone on 17.0 with a Microsoft SQL server on 230. 
if we wanted to, we can also go to our second primary. We have two primaries in the zone. And we can see here the same configuration. Primary 2, 37 to the MSSQL on 17.0. If we logged into ZCC, for further confirmation, we can also see that currently on an SQL server. And we have two primaries. OK, let's get started. We'll go to one of our primary servers. Uh, actually, we'll go to the second one and we'll stop the services. Let's go ahead and click Restart Services and stop the Zen services for loader and server. That's one of the pre-migration tasks. Let's go home. Now we're going to go to Terminal and File Explorer, but that will probably fail because we, oh, we have SSH on. Good. If you need to turn or enable SSH, you can go to System Services, and SSH can be turned on or off at this location. Okay. Going back to our terminal. We'll elevate ourselves so we can run the command. And we're going to put things in TMP. For the sake of time, we've uploaded the DB migration tool. Now all we have to do is kick off the command. It's under the share. Java bin Java minus jar and then the jar name. We'll start the migration. It'll ask you if services are running on any other primary servers. Make sure that they're off. And then we will go ahead and say, yes, I want to proceed. We're going to enter the zone administrator username that has rights to do this type of function. It will double check any Zenwork services. It will then run the ZDC on the Zenworks database. It will then run the ZDC on the audit database. It will then ask us, where do you want the target database to be? Is it external? If it's external, we have to give it the IP address, server name, some credentials. We're just going to go ahead and do PostgreSQL embedded. So we'll say one is good enough. And then for the audit database, the same thing. We're going to make it embedded PostgreSQL. And then we're going to enter to start the migration. Now with the database migration command configuration action complete, we can then follow these last bit of instructions. For other primary servers, we need to copy from this first primary server because it needs to log into the new database, not the old database. So we're also going to change the IP address to represent the PostgreSQL server which is this local primary. And then we're going to also modify a search XML or copy a XML so that the PostgreSQL passwords are case insensitive. And then we're going to do a restart. 
So let's go ahead and do some of those things right now. We can do it with WinSCP. And we'll log into 36. And this is the one we upgraded, so we will go to Etsy, Op, Novell, Zenworks, Data Model, and we will need to Copy these over. Download. Okay. Search. So search config. Download. Okay. Now we need to change the IP address, which which has been changed now. They won't recognize 127.001. We have to recognize 192.168. 136. You can see that now it's embedded PostgreSQL with the proper port. Let's save this. Let's open up the Zen Audit and do the same thing. Save. Now those are ready to be put onto the other primary. So let's do a new session. And we're going to log into 192, 168, 137. Can't connect. So most likely SSHD is not on. Let's go over here. It is stopped. Let's go ahead and start that. Now when we go back to reconnect, it'll log in just fine. Let's go ahead and we're going to again go to Etsy, Op, Novell, Zenworks data model. As you can see, if we open one of these up, it's showing the 230, which was that external MSSQL. So we're going to go ahead and overwrite these files so they have the right credentials to log into the database. I'm going to say yes. And then under the search, we could see the search case insensitive is false. We want that true. If we look at our search config, we got off the original, we can see that it's true. So we could just copy this over the top. And now we're set. So we've done those three things, everything but restarting the services. So if we go back to here, we've copied the files, we've modified the IP, we double check that the search has the proper settings, and we're going to now do the Zenworks configure start. So you can do it here. I'm going to do a restart on everything. And we can also go over here and restart services this way. Looks like that action is complete. Let's go ahead and close log out, 
sign in. Let's check for our database. You now see we're on PostgreSQL. It's internal because it's the same IP address as our primary server. Open up ZenWorks Control Center. Double check our diagnostics. We are live. 36, PostgreSQL, two in the zone. Let me go over to 37. We can now log in as Zen Admin. And we're PostgreSQL on 36. So this concludes the demonstration using the DB migration tool on a 2017 zone with an external MSSQL database migrating to PostgreSQL. Some directory and file locations are listed here. The Sybase database, original location, the Postgres database location, the backed up Sybase database, working XML files, the backed up XML files, and again, if reverted the PostgreSQL backup directory, even if you revert, it'll back up that PostgreSQL. And then the ZDC comp can be used to ignore the ZDC column and table error. Uh, check documentation for any silent migrations or use of the input properties files. That's that customization file I referred to earlier in the presentation. Login information, supported PostgreSQL version, Embedded database, PostgreSQL 9.5. External database, PostgreSQL 10x. And then your migration logs. If you want to see what's going on or what actually transpired, the Novell ZenWorks migration log is in those directories there under the logs directory. Under the logs directory, it'll have a migration directory so that you can see all the separate migration logs. Data validation logs. And those are the HTML reports and CSV files in case there's failures. And those file names are ZCM data validation status log and audit data validation status log. And then ZDC reports. You can find them in the migration reports under the timestamp. If you've run a ZDC report, you'll find that quite naturally. Cleaning up of Sybase database configuration files will be done as part of the next update, just so you know. Utilities and commands. PG Admin 4, DBeaver, both utilities and others can be used for database administration, connecting to the database. Again, your Zman commands to back up and restore the Zenworks zone information is Zman ZSB, which is Zenworks server backup. And then backup and restore databases, Zman DB, database backup. And that's obviously if they're embedded. Database connection credentials, if you need to connect to the database, with one of these PG Admin 4 utilities or DBeaver utility, feel free to run the Zman DGC. If you have rights, it'll give you back your Zen Admin and the long password you could use for uh, connecting to both DGC, which is a ZenWorks database, and DGCA, which is the audit database. Terminal commands. So on the terminal, you can run the Java command with the DB migration tool. There's some system CTL commands to start and stop and check status of things like the Zen loader, the Zen server, Sybase, Sybase audit, and then the Zen PostgreSQL service. And then the Novell ZenWorks configure minus C revert DB migration configure action command if you are reverting. Check the documentation for those details. We'll cover it in just a little bit in this presentation. Troubleshooting. There's always debug logging, the good old TID 341-8069. Some of the common things that occur, disk space, the rebuild fails, and worst case, you have to revert. And we'll cover reverting in just a moment. But those are the worst, those are some of the cases that we've seen in the past. At the end of the validation in an, an HTML report stating the data validation for each table and CSV dumps for the erroneous mismatch records, for both DBs are generated. If you need to call support, 
Be sure you have those files. We're going to request those. We want to see where it failed, how it failed. The location for these logs are displayed to the user at the end of the completed migration process, so pay attention to those. Some things about reverting back to the original database. Stop all the Zenworks primary services. At the command prompt or terminal, type Novell Zenworks configure minus C, revert DB migration configure action. A backup of the PostgreSQL configuration will be taken. Postgres data will still remain on the server in case of an embedded database. Original database service will be enabled and started, and PostgreSQL service will be disabled and stopped. Warning again, as I mentioned earlier, this configure action of reverting the database from PostgreSQL to its original and backs up the PostgreSQL database, but any data that was captured in between will be lost. Some migration resources, TIDS documents and articles. We have the 2017 upgrade cookbook, which is TIDS 7018169, and ZCM 2020 upgrade cookbook, which is TIDS 7024089. Moving the database, Zenworks document site, there's a article out there regarding database maintenance and reference guide. So if you're moving the database from one primary to another, you're retiring a server, um, you want to change from Oracle to MSSQL or MSSQL to another supported platform, there's the database maintenance reference guide has those different options available for you. So check that out. If it's embedded, PostgreSQL database from one primary server to another primary server is an option, and that's in the documentation. If it's embedded, there's an internal PostgreSQL database to an external PostgreSQL database. So those types of maneuvers are available. Also the same thing with external, PostgreSQL, MSSQL, Oracle. There's some processes out there under the reference guide to be able to go to different platforms or if you're retiring a primary server and double check those under the maintenance reference guide. There is a cool solutions migrating the OEM PostgreSQL database to an external PostgreSQL database. And so we have cool, cool solutions out there as well to reference. So there's plenty of details out there for you to have a successful migration of your database. This concludes this MicroFocus Zenworks configuration video tutorial demonstrating the migration from a ZCM 2020 with an external MSSQL database to an internal PostgreSQL database using the Versatile DB migration tool. This same process can be done if you have an external Oracle database and you wish to go to the internal PostgreSQL. Be sure to catch the other demonstration videos in this series if you choose to have a different migration option. Mm -hmm.